Hello everyone. Today I am going to share a new post which is send SMS with SIM 900D in Proteus ISIS. Uh, if you remember, I have already posted this uh, tutorial in which I have designed a hardware using which I was sending SMS with SIM 900D and Arduino Uno. But today I am going to design a simulation, not hardware. So I am going to design a simulation in which I am going to send SMS with SIM 900D and the simulation software I am going to use is Proteus ISIS. So if you remember I have recently posted a GSM library for Proteus which you can also check by clicking uh, on this link GSM library for Proteus. Uh, the link of this tutorial send SMS with SIM 900D in Proteus ISIS is given in the description of this YouTube video. Okay, so when you click on that link in the description, you will get to this post and from here you can click on GSM library. If you haven't installed already, then you can install it from here, GSM library for Proteus, which is given here. Anyways, that's not the talk of today's tutorial. So today we are going to see how to implement SMS sending in Proteus. So I hope you have installed the GSM library for Proteus which I already have and now you need to design a circuit as shown in this figure. You can see here is our GSM module and here is the virtual terminal. So I am going to send SMS using this SIM 900D and obviously we are dealing in simulation so we won't be actually getting the SMS on our mobile. You can't get SMS on, on your mobile using this library but it will show you that SMS has been sent. So it can be used for designing your code or testing your code uh, virtually uh, in simulation. So now first of all what I need to do is to design a sorry I have already done it. So you need to design a circuit as shown here. This is one is GSM module and this one is my virtual terminal. So I'm gonna click play. Uh, here is our virtual terminal. So first of all what I need to do is I need to test my GSM module whether it's working or not. So I'm gonna send a T and you can see it has replied me OK. So it means my module is working perfectly. Now I'm gonna uh, convert my module to text messages mode. So I'm gonna send it a T plus CMGF equal to 1 and it has replied me OK. So now my module is, has converted to text messages. Now I am going to send SMS to my own mobile number, actually uh, I am not going to get this message in actual but uh, see uh, how I am going to do it. So now I am going to write AT plus CMGS equal to, <coughs> now I need to write my own number plus 9233260620. Brackets off and I'm gonna hit enter. Now when I hit enter, now my JSON module is asking for the message text. What message you wanna send on this number? So I'm gonna give my blog address www.thenamingprojects.com. Now in order to send the SMS, you have to enter control plus Z. So I'm gonna enter control plus Z and uh, it has sent the SMS. So you can see plus CMGS double colon zero one means it's the first uh, message sent from this GSM module. If you want to send SMS again, you can again type AT plus CMGS equal to plus nine two double three two. 620060 and press enter. It's again asking for the text. So let me write my name, then Nasir. And when I hit enter, it won't work because in order to send SMS, you have to enter control plus Z. So I'm entering control plus Z and it has sent the message, which is plus CMGS02. It means it has sent the second message. So in this way, you can send as many uh, SMS as you want. Mm, and uh, you won't actually receive the message on your number because it's working virtually but it's good for testing your code and your hardware 
so thanks for watching that's all for today in the next post i hopefully will interface this gsm module with arduino board or pip microcontroller okay so till next tutorial take care bye bye have fun